Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick page. My name is Angie and this is Brittany. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Today, tonight, somewhere around there. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready to work on a new piece that we loaded today. We wanted to do something special for you. Um, we're just waiting for people to jump on and just to get things um, shared out on our page here real quick. Just give us one moment here, make sure everything's working. It says we are live, so that's good. And then I just want to drop the link. We haven't dropped the link yet, right? I believe it's in, yep, it's already in the caption box. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. We're getting ready to share it out. We'll lower that down. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the project that we're working on today. It's not glued together or anything. We just wanted to have it slightly set up to show you. It's going to be super awesome. Hey, Mavis. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Verilyn's on too. Awesome, awesome. Yes, guys, as you're jumping on, please, 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 if you could do us a huge favor, um, first of all, hit the hashtag live if you see that little red button that's right up there. Um, if you don't see that, give us a hashtag replay because you'll be watching on the replay. Um, but please know to jump in on the conversation, even on the replay, because we do go back and we read all the comments a couple times. <laughs> so um, please, please, please do that. Also, yes, it is a cool one. Um, and it, it's going to be fun. This one, you can use your other add-ons in this piece. So that's what's exciting about this one. Um, also, if you like this video as you're, you're going on and you're like, Hey, I like these guys. Um, if you haven't seen this before, or even if you're one of our regulars and you're enjoying this, um, there is a little like button either. Is it usually before above it or below it? It's I think below. it's below it. If you could just click that, that does wonderful things for us. That is one of the best ways of supporting our business. Hi, Tina. Okay. We're going to jump right in. Oh, Kathy's on too. Haven't seen Kathy in a couple days. So this is our project, guys. Isn't it cool? All right. So what pieces do you want to start with? I think I'm going to start with the box. Okay. So it has a box on it that you can insert your little add-ons and stuff like that. Now, it's a little bit tricky when you first go to get it. It might be a little bit intimidating. You're going to have six of these little pieces here. They're going to be stacked up and glued together. That way... Six or five? I think it's six. Oh, it is six. Yeah, it's okay. six. It's so that way you have enough room to insert either extra add-on pieces that we've already got that you guys can order, or just if you have any home decor around the house that mm -hmm. you want to stick in this box. It's perfect. It'll be an all-season thing that you can add on to, but I, I want to get fun. the glue on that going first so that way okay. it's all held together. All right. And then the front piece that hooks onto that little box looks like this one. It's done. Um, and what it actually is, is you're going to get a piece like this. So it's kind of like our ladder or our winter thing where you pop out the center because that's what this piece is. So once it's all glued together, we'll explain it as we go. Um, it goes together like this, but when you want to change out your front panel, you simply do that. I meant to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then we have two pieces of the wreath which we're still going to have to work on that tonight, um, that it has the extra, it's going to come in a extra round wide piece just to keep it a little more secure when we're sending it. Because when we cut it today, I was like, ooh, this is fragile. So we need to make that a little more secure for when we're shipping it. It's got two layers of that. It has a little rectangle thing that you're like, what the heck? That is your door hanger that hangs over the top. And then it has a frame that goes around the piece. And then it has the backboard. And the backboard is cool because it looks like one of those bead boards. I don't know if you can see close up. It's got all the score lines on it. So you have your choice. You can do it a couple coats if you don't like that bead board look and you just want it to be plain. You could do a couple coats. Or you could lightly sand it back and get rid of the score lines. But we personally like the score lines. It keeps that farmhouse decor. It also has the score line down here. It's kind of like a cheat sheet. Hi, Tracy! Um, thanks for having us guys. Tracy's here to let us know that we are now live on the craft around the clock page as well. So welcome, welcome to all our new friends over there. Thanks for having us guys. Um, so this is like a cheat sheet. It's just to mark where that box is going to go on. We try to make it as simple as possible. All right. 
So you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue your pieces. Yep. So like I said, what I'm doing is I'm taking some stick fast glue. I'm putting a little bead of it all the way around the edges and just stacking the layers on top of each other, creating that box that everything can rest in. Right. Our colors that we've chosen for this, um, we're going to do it as a white beadboard backer. Thanks for sprinkling. That's Jackie. Welcome, welcome. And Cindy. We have another Wendy in the house. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Tina says she's going to need to do another order. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so we've got Simplicity White by Country Chic. That's what we're doing our backer in. Um, our frame is going to be done in black. We're trying to do this very simple that it can change out with all our decor throughout the year. Um, our two layers of our wreath. We've chose this green, which is called Secret Garden. And then we also have, oh, Cheryl's in the house. Uh, hi, Cheryl. Thank you for your order today, sweetie. I don't know if you saw the post, but you are the first to have ordered our Winnie the Pooh uh, tear tray set. So I don't, <coughs> I don't even know if you're aware, but you are getting, do we have our Posca pen handy? You are going to get one of the small Posca pens as a surprise gift. Well, surprise in your um, parcel. So we're sending you one of these free. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still recovering from a biopsy. So bear with me. The second layer of my wreath is going to be done in Rustic Charm. It's a beautiful minty green. Hello, hello. Kathy Welsh is watching. Welcome. If I missed anybody, um... Cheryl says she knew about that, so that's awesome. Um, we did announce it earlier. Oh, I, I don't want to torture your name. Charisma? Charisma. I, it's pretty, if, if that's how it sounds. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm torturing it, but welcome. Welcome. Um, Tina is saying congrats. Awesome. Okay, she's back to work, so I better get at it too. We've got 45 minutes. Actually, we don't have 45 minutes right now. So has someone started the clock for me? <laughs> you know how bad I am with time. Someone make sure to let us know when 45 minutes is up, okay? <laughs> all right. Mavis was great for it last time. So I have attached all of our six layers together now. So you can see with the stick fast, it's on there very good. Now I'm going to be taking this layer here and I'm going to attach it to the front of it to finish off that box. All right, you guys are going to laugh at me. I want to use a sponge brush and bear with me here. I'm looking, I'm looking for scissors. Oh, I got fabric scissors. That's real good. Um, I forgot to wash my sponge brush last time I used Mod Podge and I don't want to run off scene and go look for another one. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm actually just going to chop off that hard part. And I'm going to reuse my paintbrush. It's a good thing they're cheap. All right. So I'm going to start off with the secret garden. Have you got it all stuck together? You stick yeah, fast for it. I did. You can use like um, Gorilla Glue would work for that. Um, your Aileen's. Did you already talk about the glues? No. Um, the Elaine's glue works great for that as well. Any of those will work. It's just not going to hold immediately like as if we're using the stick fast wood. So I'm just adding the border nail on the front so that way when we go to paint it it's just painting it all at once and there's not going to be any and it's got a score line, line on it too. Pieces. Yes. All right, so I'm taking a bit of my secret garden. I like to kind of offload it onto my mat. I'm using a silicone mat. If you don't have a silicone mat, guys, just grab a paper plate or something that you can kind of offload. And then you're simply going to dab it on. And the reason I dab it on is because I like those burnt edges on the wood. So I don't want to have too much overspill. Sometimes it still happens, but... This would be hard to kind of touch up with sandpaper after, so. And if you don't have a silicone mat, you guys can see we've got a very big one here, but you can actually get them now at the dollar oh, store, yeah, right. but they're labeled as a glue gun mat, but they are the same idea. They're silicone. It's obviously much smaller. It's about this big. So it's not going to be huge, but it is something that you can use underneath your projects or... Or the silicone baking sheets. They sometimes yeah. have those in the dollar store too, and they work yeah. just as well. 
And then you can just All take your mat same. after and throw it in the sink to wash it. It's awesome. A little yep. Dawn just soap and a sponge. It's all brand new again. So we've got our front piece on now. So our whole oh. box is built. It's either <laughs> the kids are home or I got an Amazon package. Oh, kids are home and we are on live, guys. So, uh, shh. <laughs> okay, so we've got our border on now for the box. You also have this piece. You don't want to glue this one in because we are going to decorate this a little bit later on. We have one of these little arrows that we're going to paint up and stick on the front of this. And that's going to be your interchangeable piece that you can pop in and out. So we're going to make it what for we chose to put on it. But yeah, yeah, you can put on whatever you want. This is sold separately on the website. So that way you have choices. I think we have six different yeah. ones of the arrows. But you could, if you've got something else at home that you'd like on there better, no problem at all. You just stick it on to here. In this kit, you're going to get four of these. You know, if they wanted to, they could put a little magnet on the here mm -hmm. and then put a metal washer on the back of whatever they're adding. And then it could be magnetic and they could change it over whenever they want. But we are also sending four of these. Yes. So yeah. you're still going to have four, but if you want to get even more use out of it, you could add the magnet. Yeah. It just popped in my head, sorry. No worries. <laughs> I also realized, I don't know if you guys heard that doorbell going off. I haven't changed my doorbell since Christmas. It's still playing, like, what song was it? But it was a Christmas song. <laughs> I want to say Jingle Bells, but I, that's I didn't what I want to say, but I'm not quite sure. To it. <laughs> so I'm going in with black, and I'm going to be painting out our basket that we're attaching in the black, and then I'm also going to be painting out our outside frame in the black. Hi, Deborah. As well as this oh, rectangle no, add-on. Maybe it was just because of the doorbell. <laughs> I live out in the boondocks, and seriously, if my furnace kicks on, my Wi-Fi gets wonky. Like, I, I don't understand it. There's probably a real, you know, scientific reason for that. But So I've lowered the heat, <laughs> and I wasn't prepared for a doorbell. I'm looking for another sponge. I'm looking I for my favorite one. paintbrush. Oh, I do have another right sponge. here. Yeah, I washed that for you. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to go in with Rustic Charm, and you're going to do your black? Yeah. It is on the website right now. The link is up above, Tina. And Tina, just to let you know, your order is ready to go. It is ready to go, right? Or do we have one yes. more piece to do? No. Her order is ready to go. Your order is ready to go. So if you were adding this on, um, just, just, you know, shoot me a message and before you place the order and uh, we'll figure out how to work it into um, your order so you don't have to pay the extra shipping. I don't want you to overpay on shipping. They make enough money off of us. Yeah, we are looking for something cool, quick, fun for today's live and although we love everything already on the website we wanted something that would work for all seasons and I wanted a rustic farmhouse yes she's been begging me for some rustic farmhouse so we whipped this up quick got it onto the website like 10 minutes before we went on live here so it is up there now but we were just we wanted something different And this just happens to work with a lot of the pieces that are already on there because you can add most of those accessories, wagon add-ons, all of that, they will fit in here. You might not fit all the pieces, but you can definitely fit a couple of them. Just depends on what you're wanting it to look like. They didn't even take like um, the fake flowers and put fake flowers down in like, like oh, a little yeah. flower pot in the bottom. It would be super cute. For sure. I'm saying that because we have so many flowers. We do. <laughs> All right. So that is that. What do you want me to do next? There's a big frame right there. Awesome. So that's my wreath done. Isn't that pretty? I need that Very. decor on a sweater. <laughs> I have my so. cricket. I got a cricket for Christmas. We can make that happen. We're too busy for that. We are. <laughs> But in theory, we could. Yes. So 
how's everybody doing today? We are, what, Monday? Yep. Are we off to a good start? Is everybody having a great Monday? We've been pretty good. We've really been productive today. We have, like, because Brittany's here, Evangeline, I love that name. Welcome, welcome. Um, sorry if I've missed your names. Welcome to everybody. Michelle's on, Dana's on. Um, what was I saying? Oh, because Brittany's here, we actually have three extra kids in the house, too, that are all doing homeschooling. That's kind of fun. <laughs> um, they're all in different grades, different classes. Like, it's kind of like, oh, you know, I'm getting old when I'm like, ooh, this is a little overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it went off pretty good. Yep. And the Wi-Fi survived for them all. Nobody complained, so that was impressive. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to paint it white. And I'm going to grab a nice wide brush. Actually, you know what? I might I might really whip this out quick. I'm going to grab my S30. I love my S30. Do you have one of these yet? Yes. It's my favorite. Cold and windy there, so staying in and watching. Thank you, weather, for bringing Cindy to us. <laughs> NFL is on, is it? Mavis is a football girl. Really? I had to call her and ask her about football stuff the other day. Because um, I didn't know when the season started, ended, anything. Because I am so out of the loop on football. I'm just giving this a spritz because my white paint is a little thick because I forgot it open one night. Did you know that? Nope, I did not. <laughs> oh, you stuck your arm right in the black paint. Oh, dang it. Resolve to the rescue. Thank goodness it's chalk paint. <laughs> so I'm just going to set that over there so it can dry. And now I'm going to start painting up our little, I want to say planter box. That's what I really want. That's what it looks like. It does. It looks like a planter box right that would here. sit in your window. So we're going to go ahead and call it that. I want this to look rustic. So I'm not trying to give it a thorough coat. Like I do want it all covered, but as you can tell, like I'm doing a very light coat of it. I've even spritzed it with water to thin out the paint a little bit. I just really want that rustic look. Brittany's taking this home, so hopefully she likes that. I was gonna go with like a gray rustic tinge to it, but that oh, works. You? I would have. If we're going a rustic instead rustic? of like, yeah, kind of like blend them together, so. Okay. Almost like you would your... Like you, even though it's got the beadboard, you still would yeah. like that? All right. And what color gray would you have added? Like a light gray or a dark Yeah, gray? light gray. All right. To blend them together. Just because that's more my style at home. I don't really have a lot of the wood tones at home. And see, I was thinking whitewash kind of look. So how many of you are really big into the interchangeables that you can keep the same staple piece for the year, but switch out things in it? Do you like that? I find it super handy because I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I'm great at making pretty stuff, but um, I'm not really that great at um, finding it a home. So when Brittany comes and she finds something at home, she's like, oh mom, this would look great here. And she puts it there. Um, for the next season, I don't want to have to wait for her to come back to switch out something else there. So if she can put this in a spot and then it just stays there and I just have to switch out the contents, that's so much easier for me. It's kind of weird that I'm in this business, but I'm no good with that part of it. I can make pretty stuff, but I can't display it. So normally we don't worry about painting the edges of stuff, but because this box sticks out and you are going to be looking at it, I am making sure that I paint all the sides around it. Do you want me to blend a bit of gray in here? It's up to you. How are we on time? We're good. Oh yeah. Okay. My I'll finger play around just glued blending. to the board. You glued your finger to the board? I did. It's okay. It unstuck. Mavis loves the interchangeables. Very little loves the interchangeables. 
Tina says she's in. Kathy loves the Disney tear tray behind us. <laughs> that was last night's live. If you want to jump onto our page, you can check that out. That was our Winnie a Pooh tear tray. It's on our website. And uh, you can see that live um, last night. So would you go with like Pebble Beach? That kind of gray one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I gotta say, when you watch that video, I complained a lot. If you are my kind of person, like we work great together because we are so different in some ways. Mother and daughter, great, you know, great minds think alike a lot. Yeah. But your style is totally different than mine. You're more whimsical and a yeah. little more modern. Um, I'm very rustic and earthy. Um, I don't like painting tiny details. And you seem to thrive on that kind of stuff. Yeah. I enjoy the details. I just need a little baby wipe here to clean up my hand. I got black all over my hand. All right. So I'm going to grab a big wispy brush. And I'm going to grab my small brush. I'm going to spritz this down because I'm going to be blending. And I'm going to take a little of my gray. And I'm just going to kind of put some streaks in and I know my blending te technique is not like yours everybody's a little different that's what makes us wonderful I'm just trying to get all the black paint off my hands because when I go to touch other pieces I don't want to spread that around oh I just got some green on the edge there that'll be covered with a frame we're okay yeah well no but I'm just meaning like don't panic off. too much don't panic too much because it'll be covered with the frame I'm just going to put some gray streaks on here and hold tight because I'm not really messing it up as bad as it probably looks. Mm -hmm. While she's doing that, there is this little rectangular rounded edge piece. I don't know what shape you'd actually call that one. Do it's you want silver for that? Like actual? I'm holding silver. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, we have good. a silver paint for that. Uh, so this is supposed to be like a ribbon that's holding the leafy garland on. So a ribbon or like a metal. Um, yeah, a hook. Like a reef holder clamp or hook or something. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my fluffy uh, brush and I'm just using it to blend. I go back and forth in one direction. Is that what you were thinking? Yep. So if you keep it going in the wood grain lines, I think you'll you'll like your results. If it's starting to dry on you and it might be a little dark in spots, offload your brush onto a baby wipe. So like your messed up wisping brush, just kind of wipe it off. Get most of that paint back off. You're waiting for me? No, I was just going to say, while you're doing that, and while I'm waiting for stuff to dry, you do actually get a stand in with this kit. I've gone ahead and painted it ahead and built it for you guys just because... It's pretty straightforward. It's two pieces. And let's be honest, last week I was really kind of slow, so I was afraid we were going to run out of time today. And I was like, no, I want to actually get the whole project done mm -hmm. in my time slot. <laughs> <laughs> so this one Hi, here, lady. it's already built. It's together. It's just two legs that you slide in together, and I've gone ahead and I've painted it black, so that way it was already done for us. Christina says hi. That's my other daughter. <laughs> and she says she likes the Winnie Pooh set, too. Awesome. Hi, Robin. Tina's all in. She wants this one. Okay. So all right. We've just You've got the dryer tool. Okay. It's not too noisy, so go for it. It's not also plugged in. Oh, but it just, you know. How about I dry and you start working on that bow? I was going to paint out the love first. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a bow that I want her to make. Mm -hmm. It's her kind of style of making a bow. Dude. We crumbled some black paint on it. Oh, dude. Oops. Where's sorry. my wispy brush? Oh, we wanted it I'm rustic. Sorry. Oh, it's rustic now. I can okay. blend that right in. Okay. What colors do I want this to be? We didn't decide on this. Well, I think I'm decor. reaching over. We're going to go with this pinky right here. Hot pink. Hot pink for our arrow. If you're using um, um, country chic paint, 
this pink would be the raspberry sorbet. Yeah. But I'm just using a Posca. It's quick, it's easy, in and out. Let's get it done. Because I want you guys to get to see it all together. Get now, if you wanted more definition in your... Oh, Heidi wants to know what we're making. Sweetie, you're just going to have to stay tuned because I can't show you a picture right yet. And I can't just set it together. Uh, so just hang tight. We're getting there. Like, it's going to all glue together really quickly in just a couple minutes. Um, if you really wanted more definition in your beadboard, you could also take your thin Posca pen, like the one we are sending to... Cheryl? Um, Cheryl. Yeah, I was looking for the pen. <laughs> um, and one of these would make a great definitions in the lines. This is our brand new kit that we have just added to the website today. I wanted to come on with something. I don't know. I guess I was like new. I, we want a new. Well, the other stuff is new. It's just yeah. I've already been cutting it. I've seen it a few times. <laughs> I wanted something new to me. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm bad for that just going ahead and saying hey let's create something else and throw it on there do we have a white posca pen around how small the pen like pen 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 i don't know if i have one open really but i have a brand new one right up here i feel like that's a posca white pen right there it is okay well we got two so how about the first person that orders this gets a white one fair enough I'm in a giving mood you are so the first person that goes onto the website and orders this Mavis has been using the Posca pen for definition. That's awesome. I love them. So I'm going to take the white one and I'm just going to put in some details here. I, I wanted to zoom in to show you, but I know my hands are not going to allow that. Where'd my diamond block go? Okay, I'm dry. I'm just like waving this for the sake of waving it at this point. Let's grab this. So the first person that orders this, because I have an extra pen, um, we'll throw this in. So it's kind of like um, Cheryl got the black one for ordering the Pooh Bear set last night. And uh, today we will give away the white one. So I'm just going in with the Posca pen and putting little details like that just to make it have some extra pop to it. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it. It's just giving it a little bit more detail. Do you have a little black paint left? A little black paint like left on your brush or actually no, just give me a pasta black paint right there why did we ding a spot no we just realized right oh. up on this one corner you were yep, probably holding me. it there oops that's silver oops <laughs> black we're just gonna take our black Posca and you painted the other sides though right what do you mean like you used actual paint on the sides yeah I love Poscas for doing the edging. If you don't want it brown and you want it a different color, I love doing the Poscas. So we just fixed up that end. And then we are pretty much dry. We're a little wet still in the corners, but I think it's going to be fine. Are you going to do the gluing? If you want to go ahead and get started with the gluing. Well, I still had a couple more pieces to dry, so I didn't know how far along you are. Oh, I love that. I love how you do the little curves and then the dot, dot, dots. I do those too. Every once in a while, we throw in the weird triangles, though, eh? Yeah. I'm not even sure why. It's just every once in a while, the mood hits us, and we're like, we're drawing the little line, and then we're like, beep, beep. Just gives it a little flare of creativity. So there's our little details on there. I thought that would make it. So we are going to have to um, take one of these, like, a piece sometime, and just um, maybe not show our faces and zoom in close and just get a... Ooh, we could do a bunch of snippets. We could. That we zoom in like that, maybe. That'd be good for our Instagram page. Yes. Having little clips like that. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to start gluing this piece here. Okay. And I'll glue this one on. Sounds good. I think we're going with a little bit of an angle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It wasn't originally the plan, but it turned out really cute the way that I dropped it. If you guys haven't been using Stick Fast, Stick Fast is a wonderful glue. Um, we don't make any money off of it. Um, yeah, even when I sold it on the website, I had a few extras and I sold them on the website. We sold them at cost. Um, but um, just know when you're ordering it, don't order the thin. It was really liquidy. It was bad. Yeah, we have medium and thick out right now. Yeah. 
So I just tried to line it up with the... Tina's got it in her cart. <laughs> the race She's is on. She's going for it. You don't even know what we're putting in it yet. And you're like, on it. Tina, I gotta tell you, we were already thinking about this when we were when we were designing this and then we started filling your order today. Um, we were like, hey, Tina's gonna want this because Tina actually has what we're gonna stick in it. Yeah. In her order. What we're putting in it, she's already got. Tina wants to send it by e-transfer. <laughs> oh, Tina, Tina, Tina. Um, I can't deal with that right now. <laughs> I'm live. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. But if someone happens to order it live while we're on, um, before we jump off and can do your e-transfer, then we'll have to do it for the other person. But uh, if no one orders during the live, then I'll take your e-transfer order and we can just um, put this in with your other order. Stick fast is awesome, eh, Heidi? I think we're gonna go with... All right, we are glued on. So this is how we look so far. You ready for the frame? Yep, I'm working on it now. <coughs> I should have grabbed cough drops. They're on the floor beside you. Oh, are they? Yes, ma'am. Oh, they are. I should be doing like I thought I had Bentisil uh, commercial. <laughs> Again, my did it favorite cough drops, guys. I'm not a cough drop addict, but when I need a cough drop, this is where to go. Are they able to see us gluing this together all right? What about the coffee can? Can we talk about that? Coffee can? Coffee can. I don't know what we're talking about. What coffee can? Oh, not the coffee can. The coffee cups. Okay, you keep working. I'll grab the coffee cups. She wants to talk about those coffee cups that you made yesterday. Oh, okay. Now I'm just adding in the silver bedazzle. She just wanted me to move so she could see that way of poo tear tray one more time. Probably. <laughs> okay, so um, Tina was doing a live and she was selling... Um, some chalk couture stuff guys. We don't actually I can't say that I don't sell chalk couture Brittany does um, But I love chalk couture and so we were watching Tina She was selling some chalk couture because Tina is a, um, a designer. I believe Cheryl is a designer. I believe um, Who else is on here? Come on. Verilyn is a designer um, Wendy is a designer. We have so many designers that follow us and that is awesome so if you're sharing out our videos, we don't put Brittany's link in there at all because we just don't. We leave it open so that you guys can share it on your page. Just make sure if you're sharing out our videos, anything about Chalk Couture that you are putting your link up above. That's all we ask. Um, so anyways, in Tina's video though, she was showing... Tina, you got to name the transfer for us because I can't think of it. Coffee first? Um, Is that what it was? Something like that. It was a big mug. Kathy is a, is a, um, Heidi is a CC girl. Okay. So we made some, we make a lot of wood cutouts, guys, for anyone that doesn't know that, that match up that you can use with your CC transfers. So who can name the transfer that goes with this? I know we have fresh coffee, coffee daily and then there's another one that was. We already had the mug first. for the hot chocolate up. Now yeah. we've got a coffee one. I don't know. Um, then there was another coffee transfer and it had the littler, littler, the smaller cup. Um, and it's a little more rounded than the big cup. It also had another little cup on that one too. And then it had this weird little strainer thing that you, that you use, um, that you have it's the heart on. It's supposed to be the top of the latte. Yeah. To do your cinnamon sprinkles or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this was a three piece set. It went with that transfer. I'm sorry guys off the top of my head I can't think of what the name of the transfers were um, So this was If you look on our website though when we get these posts I can up, use my transfers with your it stuff will say. Thank you so much Kathy. So yeah, um, this was one of them This was the other one. It was about coffee. That's all I know But when we um, post them up, it'll say compatible it with CC transfer and then it'll say the name. Yeah um, but then Brittany got you know, I got her to make me one that I loved was last year, um, the transfer, the secret ingredient. Yeah. The secret ingredient. And it had little it. salt and pepper shakers on it. So we've made the little salt and pepper shakers. So that's what Tina was asking about when she said, can we talk about the coffee? So I've gone ahead when you're looking Those at aren't on the website yet though, they go on tonight, the right? Yeah. No, we're uploading those later. 
When you're going to put your leaf garland on, you're just going to want to make sure that you're lining up the edges with your, I guess, attachment piece. Yes. Your ribbon, your hook, whatever it is you want to call it. <laughs> your wreath attachment. And then here's your second layer. Yep. Which I was debating. I think I might... And leave it open at the bottom? Well, because you're not going to see that anyways once you put some stuff in the basket. Yeah, but why would you want it closed up here? I don't know. See, if you do it this way and then you stick that beautiful bow that I'm hoping you're going to make. Okay, we'll go with that way. You missed a little spot of green, though. Yeah, I did. And fix it after? Ah, uh, it was this green, right? What? Oh, it was this green. Here. It's too late. I got glue. I will. It's going to have to wait. Jab it after. So I'm just putting a dot of glue on the outside leaves. And not even every leaf, just... No, just sporadic. The bigger leaves is what I would say. I'm sticking them on. Very sporadic style. I'm going to dab it. I, I know you want to dab it, mm -hmm. but you're, you're going to have to wait. Or not. Oh, there we go. Good enough. No. Oh, I didn't wet down that edge. Okay, there we go. You've got your ribbons for your bows. And I will be right back. So this, the reason that I haven't gone ahead and attached this yet is because I put a little extra stick fast here and I don't want it to permanently be stuck on there. So I'm trying to let it dry as long as possible, but I know we are down to the wire. We got nine minutes left. So here's where we are mm. at so far. I love the different colors of our wreath. Definitely gives it more dimension when you have the two colors on it. We're down to nine minutes. We're down to nine minutes because it's quarter oh, two. We can do this. We got this. Okay, let's fold this up. Ribbon out. So we don't get paint on our ribbon. See, how fast can we make a bow? Whoop. Helps if I open the scissors. Who wants to scream at her? She is using... um. I thought we were on a time crunch. I didn't oh, have are, time to look for scissors. Decoupage paper scissors. I don't have time to look for scissors here. Okay, how big of a bow do we want? Not very big. We want kind of small. So probably like that size? Yeah. There we go. Even that might be big. Yeah. We're losing our glue. Where's okay. our hot glue gun? Is our hot glue gun on? Probably not. I don't even know where the hot glue gun is. It probably fell off. It the might table. have to wait till another time. Oh, it is off the table. Oh, reaching, reaching, reaching. How do I turn this baby on? The little green button on the side there. Okay, we're on. Yep. Okay, we were doing so well, and then mommy's like, "Hey, let's do a bow too." <laughs> we would have made it. We would have made it if we don't make it now. You it's my why. fault. Yep. So if you are loving this project, if you're thinking about getting it for yourself, we are going to be going live again, probably around probably five o'clock ish. Yeah. Probably. That gives us a 15 minute in between where we're going to do with you guys a project with all the little add ons that we're going to that we recommend go with it for Valentine's Day. So if you do want to see that, you can pop on over to our page for five o'clock ish. Because we're not always spot on with our time frames, but we do want to do some add-ons. We just knew that there was no way we were going to get those into this video. That's but if we talk too much. We do. But if it does interest you, pop on over. We are going to make those up. <clears throat> and Which brings you back to uh, like and uh, follow our page if you'd like to get notifications. And yes, Facebook is a little slow on notifications. I need a short one. Yeah, you need a short one too. Yeah, actually um, I need two of these. They're a little short on notifications, short so we're gonna work on something for that very soon. You need a short one of that one too? Well, I need one more of this big one, and then the short one. All right, are we going on this glue gun? We might be just cutting the ribbon for now. It might just be. Oh, it's coming. Kids are enjoying their visit with their cousin. Yeah. <laughs> you hear them scream every month while giggles. Yep. 
All right. There's one piece. I feel like I lost the black little mini roll. I don't have time to freeze. Where is this? Did you move it? I don't think I... It's right here. You moved it. I moved it. I'm like, it was right there. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in a loop. I'm adding a little bit of hot glue to save them to the loop. Whoops. Complete the loop. And then I'm folding them in half. Fork it over. Blooper. So pinching the glue and then just completing the fold right there. Everybody knows we should be using our little um, fingertip things. Oh yeah, because the glue's hot. But we're, we're just not. going to town on it, though. I need one more block. There you go. You don't have to keep standing this up. It actually holds the charge for a little bit. Oh, I thought it didn't stand. It doesn't. I just lie down. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and I glued it together, layered like that. Okay. All right. Anything else you need from me? No, I think we're good. I don't know why I said I needed that. Maybe I didn't say I needed that. I thought you did for the third one. Why are you gluing all of them? Where's your tails? I don't have tails now. Oh! <laughs> all right. We need one more of these. We're making this up as we go along. Hello, darling. You're home early. Oh, that's right. You said at five o'clock. We won't be five o'clock, will we? Oh yeah, probably. We're going on five. Yep. Okay. There's our tail. How are we on time, guys? I think we're running out. Oh, we got four minutes. You want to stick the black ribbon on another one of these? Four minutes. We're down to crunch time. What black ribbon? We're out of black ribbon? Okay. Cool. And we're sticking to the table. Okay. We're going to do this much slower sometime for you. We're just trying to rush this. We're playing a game of beat the clock. I think we're going to go like that. This is my tails? Yep. Okay. I know, I didn't do that. What are you doing? Cutting. Why? Because I need two tails. Oh, then you definitely do it different than me. Okay. This is supposed to be your video, so. <laughs> For the boat. Where are we at time-wise? We are down to the wire on three minutes. Oh. Can she get it done? It's a good question. Okay. Okay. So what's the plan? So you're going to crisscross? Yep. There we go. We're going with the crisscross. All right. Your glue's still hot. Ah, my glue's all sticking together. Okay, I need a string, mummy. Okay, that'll do. Got glue stuck in my finger. Don't you want this guy in the center? It goes on top. Oh, you glue that on after. Yep. Okay. Yep. Your bow's definitely different than mine. <laughs> Everybody has a real way. Tina says two minutes. We got this, Tina. I don't even know if we'll get the need the tails on there. And then you're just gonna fluff. Fluff. Okay, then real quickly, real, real quickly, real, real, real quickly, we're going to take, I had a magnet, I'm going to take a magnet and I'm going to glue a magnet, hopefully it's the right side, yep, I'm going to glue a magnet right here on to my clamp, I'm going to take a washer, whoops, and we're going to glue that onto the back of our bow. We can fluff after. Okay. Flip. Where's the back? Right there. Stick a dollop of this. We didn't do the strands. We're going to stick the washer the on. Quick. 
cool, cool, one cool. minute. Cool, cool, cool. And there's our bow that is magnetic. And our sun is on. Whoa. It just, it did Did I glob it? No. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. And there we go. <laughs> and then you can hang, eat, even those, those little minis that we have, we can oh, hang yeah. that from in there. Super cute. You or can you take can have a tails. pasta and write your initials in there. Ooh, that's a good idea. And then when you want to change it out for other seasons, you stick your finger in there and you pop it off. And you can change it all out. And take your magnet off. Yep. That's today's project, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Um, if you want to see us fill this with all the fun stuff, make sure to hit your notifications because we're going to go live probably around 5. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tracy, thanks for having Bye, us guys. on your page. Bye. Thank you.